Will this futuristic looking air taxi become the standard transportation method? It needs no runway, no gas, and sometimes not even a pilot. It receives billions of dollars worth of investments. Vertical takeoff is no stranger to us. Since the first helicopter took off, the use of helicopters became so widespread, the industry is worth $49 billion and expected to grow to over $70 billion in upcoming years. This trend is no surprise, since this invention changed the world. From police, helicopters, to rescue teams, and rich billionaires using helicopters as air taxis. This is definitely a revolution. Nonetheless, high maintenance cost, high fare prices, and complexity of operation kept them from becoming the average Joe's means of travel. In recent years, we witnessed a boom in electric aircraft tech and especially in the EV toll technology. It is supposed to reduce our travel time at local ranges up to 100 kilometers. And what looked like a sci-fi movie 20 years ago is becoming a reality. But are we there yet or it's all just an exaggeration? What hurdles are along the way for engineers and investors? And what are the top leading EV toll today on the market? Join us for this explainer. EVTOL stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, and it refers to a type of aircraft that can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but with electric motors instead of a combustion engine. This makes them quieter, more efficient, and more environmentally friendly. EVTOLs are powered by rechargeable batteries, which can be recharged quickly and easily using charging stations or portable batteries. This means that EV tolls can be used for short distance urban transportation while reducing traffic congestion and pollution. The EV toll market is now estimated at around 200 companies working around the clock for the next revolution in aviation. Those aircraft are designed for short trips around 100 kilometers or 70 miles and are completely carbon free. In order to expand the distance, companies are even working on hybrid models as well, claimed to reach a distance of 400 kilometers. EV tolls utilizes the option to take off and land anywhere, while still being similar to a regular plane. It uses wings for better lift and higher efficiency, options that helicopters just do not have. Future applications vary from urban air mobility like air taxis to delivery services and possibly some sort of a luxury Uber. It is also expected in a variety of tasks replacing classical helicopters like emergency services and military. The benefits and promises of this industry are mind-blowing and include a significant noise reduction, especially when you're comparing them to helicopters. Just listen to this. Beyond the significant noise reduction, the EVTOL has another benefit in its pocket. It has less complex parts, which means less maintenance. It has no combustion engine, no hydraulics. But the most important benefit is that electric VTOLs are more energy efficient. Not only the motors themselves are two to three times more efficient than regular combustion engine, but EVTOLs also have the possibility of utilizing a large number of small electrical motors compared to a big engine of a 737. These small motors give enough power but with less energy consumption. But just wait, because this is just getting better and listen to this. In November 2021, the National Academy of Sciences published a study done in Carnegie Mellon University. The study showed that EV toll aircraft could have an energy efficiency that is comparable or even be higher than terrestrial electrical vehicles. 
The study also assigned a high technological readiness level for battery-powered EV tools. So, many companies are testing prototypes and are in different stages of FAA approval. Let's take a look at some of the most advanced and promising ones you need to know about. Number 1. Joby Aviation Joby Aviation is a California-based company that has been working on eVTOL technology since 2009. Whoa, this is a long time. Anyway, their aircraft can carry up to 4 passengers and a pilot and can fly up to 150 miles per hour for over 150 miles of distance. Joby Aviation has already received certification from the United States Air Force and now working on obtaining certification from the FAA. Joby Aviation has also partnered with Uber to develop an air taxi service which is expected to start somewhere next year. Number 2. Lilium Aviation Lilium Aviation is a German company that has developed a unique eVTOL design. The Lilium jet uses a multiple, relatively small, ducted propellers driven by electric motors to provide a lift during takeoff and landing, as well as thrust during the cruise phase. Looking at this aircraft, you might ask yourself why it has a jet engine on it. Well, it looks like this aircraft has small jet engines. In fact, Lilium says that it refers to the propulsion system as a jet, because propellers are enclosed in the cells, which resembles a jet engine indeed. Their future aircraft can carry up to 6 passengers and a pilot and can fly and reach speeds to 175 miles per hour and it covers a distance of almost 190 miles, which is around 300 kilometers. Lilium Aviation has also received certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency and is working on obtaining certification from the American FAA. Number 3. Archer Aviation Archer Aviation is a California-based company that has partnered with United Airlines to develop EV toll technology for urban transportation. Their aircraft is called Midnight and looks absolutely spectacular and justifies its name. This air taxi flies by using 12 motors. Each pair of motors is powered by a separate battery pack. This aircraft will carry up to 4 passengers and a pilot. Archer says this EVTOL will cover distance up to 100 miles and it will be competitive with other ground-based ride-sharing services. Engineers designed it to perform a flight of 20 miles by just 12 minutes of charging time. It has also been published that Archer Aviation received an order of 100 EVTOLs made by United Airlines, which expect to start using them around 2024. Number 4. Whisk Air Whisk Air is a joint venture between Boeing and Kitty Hawk, Whisk's EVTOL aircraft called the Cora. The Cora is designed to be fully autonomous, which means it can operate without a pilot. The aircraft can supply at speeds up to 110 miles, and the company claims it has a distance of 100 miles on a single charge. It can carry two passengers, making it ideal for short trips within cities, for airports, or to other locations. This aircraft has a wingspan of 36 feet and is powered by 12 small independent lift fans. Those fans enable it to take off and land vertically. Once in the air, the aircraft transitions to a forward flight using a single rear propeller. Hey, you might not agree being transported on a fully autonomous aircraft, that's understandable. The company says that this aircraft is going to be safer than what, what you might expect, since most of air traffic accidents happen due to human error. But even though we dream of taking off from our backyard and bypass all of the congestions, this technology is widely criticized for its promises. EVTOL technology faces several challenges before it can become widely adopted. One major challenge is cost. Currently EVTOLs are expensive to produce, and the cost of producing them at large scale is uncertain. Small startup companies are partnering with large manufacturers as we saw before, 
in order to make eVTOL scalable for max production. Another question is insurance. As with any new technology, it might be difficult to assess the risks and liabilities associated with eVTOLs. Insurance companies may be hesitant to provide coverage which could hinder adoption of eVTOL technology. This becomes worse. Since a lot of the eVTOLs in question are supposed to be fully autonomous or piloted by professional and certified employees and not by traditional pilots. Yes, yes, I know what you might say this is an issue for every new technology, but still, it's unclear at this stage how this thing will evolve. And finally, there is the question of how effective eVTOLs will be transporting people. While they have the potential to reduce traffic congestion and pollution, it is still unclear how practical they will be. The cost of air taxi or air delivery needs to be such as not only the super wealthy will be able to afford it. Infrastructure needs to support this entire operation. Similar to helipads, a vertiport, which is a place where eVTOL can take off and land, must be built as well, plus a charging station in order to charge those aircraft. And the main question that's being asked is what amount of flight hours is required to make them financially effective. According to industry experts, eVTOL aircraft would need to be able to fly several hundred hours per year to be financially viable. This is because the cost per hour of operating an eVTOL aircraft is likely to be higher than that of traditional helicopter or a limousine, at least in the early stage of adoption. Companies in this industry claiming that short-range air taxis are expected to cost around $4 for a mile, which is a little bit more than your average Uber. We would definitely need new means of transport in the future, which are more cost-effective and less polluted. With this price range, it's supposed to be widely accessible. We don't know whether this industry will take off, but surely hope it will make a safe and reliable way of transportation beyond being just a tourist attraction. We should wait for 2024 since some of the companies are expected to get a full FAA approval and start commercial service at a small scale. If you are new to this channel, this channel focuses on technology, science and engineering. Hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of future videos. We release a video every week. We hope you liked this week's content. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next week.